Hey, Bass Geek here. I got my buddy Tyrone manning the camera for me right now. We're catching them on deep swim baits. right to the back of that coat. You see the bank back there? Mm -hmm. I mean straight. Straight to the back of it. Yeah. Right there. Like I said, change it up. Right. Like I'm gonna let this one drop all the way. And I mean it's it's deep right here. Now the two cat the three casts I'll make will be here. The cast that generally we get bit on is here and then right there. or one, well, one or two, they'll, they'll stop. It kind of goes dead. Right. Unless there's some cloud cover. But normally... Now, how does cloud cover affect this? Most of the time, I, I hate cloud cover on deep schools. Mm -hmm. Because cloud cover, they tend to suspend. Right. So they'll be all through the water column. And, man, that is annoying because they just, when they suspend up and they're scattered, they're just hard to get fired up. That's good, see, I've already seen two hits over that way, something's up shallow, something out deep over the creek channel. Oh, I just got balked. All right, keep up. That's good. I'll knock the piss out of here. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Don't hit that fish. You're fine. Catch me in one. Good day. Good day. Good day. You know, I was throwing a swim bait on Douglas. And uh, they were bumping it, but what made it? A lot of times, change up to this smaller. Chat will change up to your underspin, mm -hmm. number one. Sometimes they'll they'll take that underspin. Right. And uh, I, I always if I'm if they're hitting the big swim bait, I'm gonna change to I'm gonna put a big underspin on. Right. Now one thing I will tell you, like my go to is the half ounce. Mm -hmm. I can fish that at a lot of different levels. But my uh, on a on a big underspin, I'm going to throw a three quarters because that blade is going to keep it up a little more. All right. So. Come on, girls. We know you're there. Now we know you want to eat. The other cast I'll make is just kind of right. I stay about two boat widths yeah. off the bank right there. And they stack up here all the time? This is a late summer group. They generally don't form until the middle of the summer mm -hmm. or late in the summer. And the later in the summer, they'll move up there. Mm -hmm. So they'll start migrating. And they kind of noticed they kind of did that. I was here in the morning and I noticed they kind of did that. Oh, oh, got him. Good deal. Need that. I didn't get a good hook set on him. So just watch out. I'm probably going to boat hop him once he gets here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, Hank. Yeah, that's a good one. 
That's about a three pounder. Oh yeah. Good job, dude. Oh yeah. Good job. Come here, little buddy. All right, get a pair and throw back in. Make that same cast I just made straight ahead. See, I told you come. Oh, don't you jump out. <laughs> don't you dare jump out. Oh, don't come here. Oh, gosh almighty. Quit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's above average for this school right here. Yeah. Well, that point comes way out there. Oh, yeah. So that point comes out to about there, and what the creek channel actually does yeah. is it runs right through here, mm -hmm. so it doesn't go up to that. That actually is a shallow flat. It's just covered with grass. Mm -hmm. So it runs right through here, and about where that fish is, that's where it turns. It don't go up to the bank. It hits the other creek channel out here right before, like right where we're, we're I was showing the, the cast. Mm -hmm. Like, there's our big green rock, right? You see it out there? Oh, yeah. So you cast right to us, about right across from the fish is where both those channels meet and that point drops off. Mm -hmm. So we're throwing up on top of the tip of the point, yep. bringing it off where two creek channels meet. Nice. So. Nice. But it's great for throwing these heavier swim baits. Right. You know, I'm not, <laughs> that was one of the things that I was doing with the Abu Garcias is I right. really think they just couldn't handle you know, right. me casting it and that, you know, that and half angle and that weight. Yeah. And I think they they were just breaking left and right. Yeah. So, the current keeps kicking us over this way. It must be coming up and eddying right now. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Oh, you got him. See there? <laughs> that's the first bite. You know what? Like one thing I've noticed is, you're, you know, that swim bait will catch quality fish. Too. Yeah, yeah, it will. Absolutely. I mean, these are all right, man. Here, guys, this is the second one today. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the day's conditions. I'm out here with a buddy of mine, a subscriber and friend who has had me up to his house, made me some awesome food. This man can cook with the best of them. Mr. Tyrone House, I'm kind of showing him how to fish swim baits out deep. Uh, we've already got a pretty good bag together. Uh, it's been a pretty good day so far, hoping we're gonna be able to get a few more in the boat. But today started out, it's overcast. They're giving some PM thunderstorms this evening. But I think the temperature this morning was what, probably right around 70, 72 yeah, to start the day. Uh, the water temperature right now, it's about midday, it's at 80 degrees. It started out at about 78.5, 78.6 this morning. Uh, we've got partly cloudy skies, uh, which in, in my opinion is one of the best situations you can have for fishing deep schools. They tend, when it's cloudy, to really suspend up and kind of scatter. So it's not as easy to get them fired up as everybody says. You can catch one or two out of them and then you know, you're pretty much done for the day. Um, right now they'll group up when you got a little bit of sun out, they'll group up a little bit tighter and you get a few more bites. Push the bait deeper. Yeah, they'll push the bait deeper too, like Tyrone said. Now, um, we're, we're just cycling spots right now. We've kind of caught one or two out of, out of every little spot. Uh, again, I told you that this season, the bite and the schools have really kind of been off and it's been, it's been condensed, but they're finally actually starting to show up. All right, man, you want to shout out anybody? Uh, yeah, I'd like to shout out to my, my uncle, Bill House, who uh, introduced me to the sport of bass fishing, you know, years ago. And it's become, you know, a very, you know, it's become really, you know, a, a passion of mine to really, you know, become the best at, at what I do. Well, I'll tell you now, I haven't got to meet his uncle, but I've heard a lot from him. I cannot wait to get his uncle, meet his uncle, blah, blah, uh, Bill? Yeah, Bill House. Hey, Bill. 
thanks for watching Bass Geek, and uh, hopefully this guy will take you out here and put you on some fish here in the next day or two. <laughs>
the new clip you can do it with one hand literally reach down with one hand clip it on their lip it's attached it does come with the hook if you like the old style clips you can actually put it on here it'll work great now guys you know one of the things about connect scale that i love is that it actually syncs up with your phone one of the good things is now it's got a bluetooth indicator you can tell when it's on you can tell when the bluetooth is working and when it's synced up to your phone you can also tell and make sure you cut it off so that it's not running your batteries down so right now i got two in the box we're going to weigh them right here and see what they weigh out for all right here's one of the fish we caught out of this school i'm gonna cut it on you can see it says hello we're going to reset we've got it on pounds to get a bite Oh, I about dropped him over the side of the boat. All right, here we go. There we go. It is 2.27 pounds. So a little over a pound and a quarter, or two pounds and a quarter, <laughs> two and a quarter pounds. I cannot speak today. We're going to put him back in the box. Now, the great thing, guys, this does have a... You know hold you can keep your five fish you can make sure you're culling so i'm gonna clear that one off all right here is the other one he's a little chunkier i'm gonna clip him up there we go two six three so not a bad one this has been about the average for the day a little over two pound per fish two and a quarter two and a half but again guys you see that two six three pretty good fish all these have come on the bass munitions new patriot minnow all right guys we had a pretty good day i feel bad because i couldn't get tyrone bit but we're going to come back up here it's still tough it's not a great bite yet but we put five good ones in what would you say they weigh good solid 13 pound bag yeah i would say every every bit close yeah you know i'm gonna you know by tomorrow i'd probably I'll be telling everybody 14 pound bag you know how <laughs> us fishermen are yeah. but uh man i had a great time with him showing him around one of what is our home lakes in top secret lake p up here uh I appreciate him coming out, man. Yeah, man. I he's had a, going. He's had a, had a great time, and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I look forward to doing it again, so, dude. You're yeah. welcome on my boat anytime, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we'll be taking another guy out, a subscriber out tomorrow, a young guy, one of my uh, friends' sons. But Tyrone, man, he's a real deal. He's a solid angler. Uh, showed him a little bit about the deep stuff and we actually got into him i think the deep bite is coming to us finally but as always questions and comments in the comment section below you guys know i love to talk about fishing with you uh like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell and you guys rock